earliest part you want to marry me next, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't take the bet. Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far, me marry Flynn the Mace. Passepartout. It's come down. Your small lives and your service. Stop Bob from traveling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of fix. And then Bob mixes his tricks, his tricks. Around the world with... Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Fix. Around the world in 80 days, so fog, they very blind maze. Around the world with... Well, past part two, it's nearly time to catch the train for New Delhi. I have almost finished packing the bag, monsieur. Will there be anything else we need? Let's see. I think we'd better have uh, two of the very largest magnifying glasses you can find, uh, two canes, a ball of twine, and a pot of glue. Two magnifying glasses, two canes, a ball of twine, and a pot of glue. Parlez-vous! Why do we need such things? Oh, never mind, I will get them, and we shall be off. It should be a pleasant trip, because I think Monsieur Fix is still in his bag. <laughs> Done to any of you. You all ought to be ashamed of yourself. But, Jay, that is Kiuni. He is the most stupid elephant in India. Bumps into everything. Cannot keep on a trail. Can't work. Oh, stupid. Useless. No good. Stupid. That's no excuse for mistreating him. Besides, he doesn't seem stupid to me. But look, Mr. Fogg, he does not even notice my hand. Because of his eyes, I'll wager. The poor beast probably has bad vision. <laughs> that is even worse. What good is an elephant that can't see? A useless, worthless beast. Maybe we can help Kione, Pastor, too. But we have no time to help, monsieur. There is a train to catch. We must help ourselves. Remember, my boy, we always help ourselves whenever we help others. How could anyone help a stupid elephant that can't see as far as the end of his trunk? Precisely the same way we help people who are far-sighted. We get them glasses. Glasses? <laughs> glasses, Monsieur Bob? For an elephant? The bag, Passepartout. Of course, the magnifying glasses. Now, we will just tie these two handles together like this, then glue a cane on this side, and another on that side, and lo and behold, a pair of elephant spectacles. How's that? It is magnifique, monsieur. Here, Keone, let's try these on. There. How do they work? Good, a perfect fit. Now, Passepartout, we'd best be on our way to the train. Wait, monsieur, look! Wait! 
They'll be able to see everything. Yes! And look what I can see right now! He isn't a German fellow, isn't he? But we cannot take an elephant around the world with us. No, Kiyuni! No! Go home! Go home, Kiyuni! Goodbye, Kiyuni! can't run on a grease track. Slide right back downhill, Mr. Fix. Track will be unusable for days, Mr. Fix. And fog will miss his connection in Delhi. I'll fix that fog. <laughs> well, now, that's quite a job, Mr. Fix. Oh, yeah. Mind you, 
I think you're right. I wonder what... Parlez-vous! We have lost the engine! Big Fred! Big Fred! There may be a chance. Look there. Listen. 
to the fool, Mr. Rick. I actually believe Bob will be able to find help in the midst of this jungle. But, uh, isn't there at least a chance of Bob getting help? A chance? <laughs> if Bob brings back enough help to rebuild this bridge, I'll eat me Darby yet, Mr. Fink. Do you really think there is a chance of our finding help, Monsieur? Yes. If my calculations are correct, there it is. The fabled city of Udaipur. Parlez-vous! It looks like something out of a fairy tale. All those villas and palaces of pink and white marble. This is the city where the Indian princes and princesses spend their summers. It's always like a holiday in Udaipur. The people are happy and gay, singing and laughing all day long. That man in the boat does not look so happy. Yes, I noticed that, but perhaps it is just something he yet. Ah, oh, here we are. Now, we must try to get men to help us with the bridge. Pardon me, monsieur, but can you... Uh... Uh, can you help me, sir? We are... Excuse me, sir. We are trying to... Parlez-vous! No one will talk to us! They just turn away and everybody looks so sad! This is not the way I understood who I poor to be. Something must be wrong. But what, monsieur? Wait, young man. What is going on here? Why is everyone so sad and why will they not talk to us? Everyone is sad because the Raja is not going to give out any gold this year. What gold? Each year, the Raja passes out gold coins to his loyal subjects. But this year, he's not going to do it. And the people are very sad and can think of nothing else. But what is wrong? Why is he not going to do this? I do not know, sir. Well, then we shall go to the Raja to find out. And that is why we need men, Your Highness. But none of the men here will even talk to us. I know, I know. They are too sad. They can think of nothing else but the gold. Why are you not going to distribute the gold this year? It is a sad story. It has always been the custom to have myself weighed on my birthday. I sit on one side of the scale, and on the other side, they pour gold coins. And when the scales balance, all this gold is distributed to the people by the royal elephant. It is a beautiful pageant. The elephant is covered with silks and jewels, and I ride upon his back. As we walk slowly through the crowds, the elephant reaches up, takes the gold coins and throws them to the people. It is a very happy occasion. But what about this year? Why will the gold not be distributed? The royal elephant suddenly became sick and died. It was all very sad. And no elephant, no gold. It has been the custom for centuries. But why don't you just buy another elephant? Oh, we have tried. But we cannot find one who is perfect enough to be a royal elephant. You mean you cannot find an elephant that is large enough? Oh, no, it is not that. Most elephants are large enough. Then it must be that you cannot find one that is strong enough. No, no. Most elephants are strong enough. Then what is it? Intelligent. Just look at this picture of our last real elephant. Have you ever seen an elephant that looks so smart? Yes, Roger. I think I have. Monsieur, you are thinking of... Precisely. Keon. But how would we ever find him, monsieur? By the beard of the prophet, an elephant with glasses. The smartest looking elephant I ever saw. He will do perfectly. And you shall have men for you, Bridge. Listen to them cheer for Kiyomi, monsieur. Yes. 
And listen to that other cheering crowd up ahead. Cheering for us, my boy. Help yourself, Mr. Fix. A little salt, perhaps. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Fix. Around the world with 